Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Chance of Sinar. The game is available on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo. Chance of Sinar is a puzzle adventure game developed by Run Disc. So the game is set with you playing as a character who's got to try and decipher two different languages uh, in this world where there's two different races having some sort of beef. So you've got to try and understand each language so you can help them live together. Okay, gameplay. Well, your character, like I said, has to unite the people of the tower, but they're unable to communicate with each other. So as you progress through the adventure, you'll learn phrases, words, and sequences that allow you to speak to the other characters in the game. However, this function has one big issue. Deciphering what each symbol means is often complete guesswork, with only a handful of moments where common sense allowed you to figure out what things actually meant. This can result in some very long and boring segments where you try to try out all these combinations of symbols in an attempt to fix them into your character's knowledge. Yes, you can visit sites that have some clues. There's these tarot card readers who give you a little bit of help, but the whole system of learning the languages early on, I would say, completely turned me off the game. It could have been so much better. And it's another example of how the structure of a game's progression can really make or break it, even if the idea in principle is really nice. There's also stealth in there, there's other adventure elements, like you're avoiding guards, um, speaking to special characters, finding secrets, items, etc. And it is a very nice game world. You know, visually, graphically, I can't fault the game. Really colourful, nice details, well presented. The sound too, very elegant music choices, um, good sound effects, very nice aesthetics. Okay, the good and the bad points, what's good? The visuals and sound are top notch. The idea in principle about learning languages through puzzles I liked. Bad points, the way you learn the symbols means that it's often just felt completely random if you actually are gonna succeed. And it's quite mundane from start to finish. And I have to say, it felt like a chore. You know, it felt like being back at school because it really lacked any sort of clever way to make the learning process fun or enjoyable, which is the key to good teaching or good learning. Okay, verdict. Chance of Sonar is another game where the style supersedes the content. It looks and sounds lovely, but look beyond that and you're left with a basic puzzle game that has some mind-numbing translation sections that suck the life out of any sense of enjoyment. If you enjoy languages, then you might get something from it, but for everyone else, I would say this will feel like doing school homework. So yeah, it's not a game I would recommend. If you are going to get it, I would wait until it's on sale because I would say it's very much a complete niche experience for a very small group of people, not the majority. So scoring, chance of Sonar gets a 5 out of 10. It's okay. Thank you for watching. That's the review. This is PG signing off. Cheers.